Hi all. In today's video, I'll be talking about how we can use custom error messages element in flows to display a better UI error messages to the end users. Let's say that when an account owner is updated, uh, we need to look for all contacts where the contact status uh, is non-customer and set the account set the contacts owner as account owner and uh, contacts uh, website as account website. Now uh, let's get back to the demo. So this is my Salesforce instance and I already have a flow here. Uh, so if you look into this flow. So what this flow will do is, you know, uh, this is on the account object and we and I'm checking condition for uh, if there is any change in the account owner or the website change. And as a next step, I'm checking if there are any contacts related to account where the status is non-customer. So I'll check the condition here to only get the contacts where contact status is non-customer. So once I got all the records, I have a decision element here and the decision element will check uh, if the list pro provided me any records to perform the next actions. So that is the reason I have a decision node here and checks the list is null is false and uh, when this criteria is true uh, it goes to the loop condition and here I'm looping all the non-customer contacts and uh, the loop has a couple of assignment variables and the first one is uh, storing or collecting all the contacts where we have to run the update operation and I'm adding the elements one by one here and the second assignment element has uh, the field mapping so the first one is uh, account website field on the contact and I'm mapping it with the website field and the second field is uh, owner ID and I'm mapping with the accounts owner ID so once I have the mappings so I'm finally I'm just uh, going and uh, running the update for the collected contacts so let's say that you know we generally build the flows in the same format and just let me just save this one just say activate and I have this account already in the system and this account have uh, this contact and with the contact is a non-customer if you look into the details here so this is a non-customer and uh, the owner of the account is SFDCVs and, uh, and this one also has uh, SFDCVs and let's uh, let me go back and try to run the update action so Click on the owner chain and select the owner as Subhani and uh, try to make the change owner. So as you see here, you know, when you click on the owner change, so what's happening is the flow got fired and displayed, you know, all the big error message. Uh, so which is uh, a little bit difficult for the sales team to understand. Now let's say that you know I just want to show the actual error message to the end users like you know I just want to show the only this message where it states that you know the string is too long account website you know the account website only allows to enter the characters up to seven so in this example right so I'm going I'm going back to the flow and all we have to do is you know we have to add a fault path here let's add the fault path and uh, <coughs> Just name it as a, and select the custom error and I'm going to name it as a custom error path or just say it as custom error message and here I'm going to select the an element so for that one I'm going back here and creating the element called a formula field and the formula field is supposed to be it starts with prefix as fx and uh, Let's say it is custom error message and all you have to do is you know, just uh, select it as text and uh, and Salesforce like any error that we get on the UA level and it will be stored in something called the uh, the fault message so let's say if I select the fault message and uh, go back here and select the same element here what will happen is you know I'm selecting the custom error message and, and let me save this one save 
and I'm activating the flow here I'm going back to the record and trying to save it so when I click on the change and you know, we're still seeing a uh, little bit better error message uh, but you know it is not something what we are trying to do it here now if you just want to go with the actual error message I'm going back to the same uh, formula that I created so this is the formula that I created so what we can do is we can use in a couple of uh, Salesforce default functions like the mid function the mid function gives us more flexibility to just display the error message that we want to display here so I'm just uh, so I have already written the formula here I'm just gonna place it here so so I'm just going to use the mid function here so what this one will do is it will look for the uh, it will do the indexing concepts so it, uh, it start from the, this error record I'm just uh, looking for the message and uh, I'm ending it uh, at the place of you can look up so let's say that if I use this one let's say done I'm gonna save this one and activate the flow so if I go back here and say change owner as we can see here you know this uh, this only shows us the right error message you know which is uh, easier for the sales team or anyone in the internal team to read and you know try to fix the issue themselves if it is uh, something that they can do in the data level or if they think that you know it has it needs the admin help they can reach out to admin with the, with the right error messages so this is uh, a, a very uh, good and new feature that Salesforce released for the flows and um, uh, you guys can try this and see how it works uh, and if you guys have any questions you can always reach out to the uh, sfdcvs.com this is my website where i have more details or and you can you can tweet me this is my twitter handle account and uh, thank you